Right, let's, uh, oh look at that, close the lid, now we've got, uh, we've got things firing up. So the question, what's in the box? Okay boys and girls, what's in the box? So what we have then, we have uh, a Raspberry Pi over here, which is a, uh, a games emulator. We have a Raspberry Pi down here, which is a, a free TV viewing uh, Raspberry Pi. So, these guys both have two independent USB hubs. Uh, both of these USB hubs have Wi-Fi adapters fitted to them, here and here. This guy has 32 gigs worth of uh, games on it. This one's connected to the emulator. And uh, it also has a Bluetooth module on it and a keyboard on it. The Bluetooth module allows us to connect up a Sony PS3 controller. So we can play games over Bluetooth. And uh, yeah, uh, which allows you to do things like this. I'll watch telly and play games. Um, so yeah, quite cool. Alright peeps, uh, I'm doing some modifications to this because um, Open Elec, which was running on the Raspberry Pi, is genuinely just absolute rubbish. The Raspberry Pi is far, far too slow. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pop the Raspberry Pi out. So we're working on that as we speak here. And, um, so I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. Pop the Raspberry Pi out, get rid of that, and we're going to put this in its place, which is uh, an MXQ Pro 4K. And this is actually quite good. I'm quite impressed with uh, with its capabilities. So. Right, let's, uh, oh look at that, close the lid, now we've got, uh, we've got things firing up, you'll probably hear the washing machine going off in the kitchen, and get rid of all of this rubbish, because all of this is rubbish at the moment, uh, stuff that on the table, uh, one of these boxes, I think it cost me 35 quid or something like that, um, on, uh, on eBay. Um, it's got a quad core processor inside of it, uh, it plays great TV, um, it's got loads of free movies on it and stuff like that, and it works with your controller, your handset. Do -do -do -do. So this is talking to the TV, which is then talking back through the HDMI cable to the MXQ Pro box, the 4K box in there now, um, and so we'll just change off of that channel uh, we will go to HDMI uh, no whatever HDMI option we have uh, there this one uh, hopefully now we're just resetting the um, uh, the games emulator it's retro pie 
do, do, do. Let's see, is this going to connect? It should connect any moment. It should go bzzz and uh, hopefully flash a channel. Still loading the emulation station. Oh, let's turn you on. Oh, and there she is. She's vibrating away in my hand. Cool, so now, yeah, there we go. So now I have the ability to be able to, I don't know, play whatever I want to play. There's loads of different platforms on here. Super Nintendo, Infocom games, I don't know if you remember the old Infocom games, they're quite cool. Amiga stuff, Dreamcast stuff, uh, Macintosh, MAME, uh, Sega Master, Mega Drive, Nintendo 64, uh, a few MS-DOS ports and stuff like that. Uh, and then I think these are like sort of Doom and Quake and Duke Nukem and that kind of stuff. Scum VM, that's also not bad as well. So, uh, just quickly then, let's just fire up um, 600, 606, 677 games uh, in uh, in this one. I can't remember which buttons I've got to press, so that's, that's it. So, Blackthorn. Blackthorn's quite cool. Hopefully, there she blows. Let's just make sure we can actually play it. Yeah, there we go. Whatever. That's me walking backwards and forwards. I can shoot. I can put my gun away. I can fall on the floor. Alright, so there we go. Um, we've got a TV remote that works through the TV, through the HDMI cable into this box. And uh, uh, drives the television device in here. The, and we also have a wonderful PS3 Bluetooth controller which talks to a Raspberry Pi in this box. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about what's in the box, let me know in comments below and um, I'll do a bit more of a breakdown on it, give people a bit more information about it if, uh, if it's something that you're interested in making yourself. I'm really sorry about the wallpaper by the way, uh, obviously the, uh, <laughs> the room here needs a bit of, uh, bit of decorating done. As always, don't forget, um, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, but yeah, genuinely, if you're interested in finding more out about this little black box of mine um, <laughs> that you saw sprayed and you've seen modified slightly, uh, give me a shout. Uh, put some comments uh, in the in the comments things below and um, let me know, and we'll uh, we'll do a bit more of a detailed breakdown on what it is and how to set one up yourself. Morty. I turned myself into a pickle. Morty, I'm, I'm pickle. Pickle Rick! Pickle Rick! <laughs>